Well, as many of you may know, I'm a pretty big Dungeons & Dragons fan. We currently have a movie in production being led by Chris Pine, and it should be wrapping up production and going into some posts, so we might be seeing some clips soon. But, many of you may not have known that Paramount and Hasbro backed E1 is developing a live-action Dungeons & Dragons series for a streaming service near you. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about who they have finally found to write and direct the pilot episode, and how I believe one of the other show's writers may have given us a clue on what this show is going to be about. But, before we do all that, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and ring the bell for all the updates. Don't forget, we're giving away this PlayStation 5. We just crossed 25,000 subscribers, and we've been talking about it for months, so stay tuned because we're going to announce the winner of the giveaway very, very soon. Also, while you're at it, try to check out that free week of Skillshare down below. It's an awesome way for you to develop all of your superhero skills for that never-ending war on crime, all by not diving too deep into your pocket. Plus, it really does help the channel, so we really appreciate it. Well, it's really been quite a long time since we've had any updates for this series based on Dungeons & Dragons from E1. Now, earlier today, Deadline dropped a pretty big story about the project, and I think it's finally starting to come into focus. Now, what the team is reporting over there is Red Notice director Rawson Marshall Thurber is set to write, executive produce, and helm the pilot, meaning the initial crew there is coming together nicely. Now, you might not know this, but there's also another writer on board, and that's Derek Holstad. If you don't know who he is, he's probably best known for his work on John Wick, and also the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Now, the story details are still being completely kept under wraps, but Colstead has had a couple of things to say about it in the past, and it does kind of give us some clues on where they may be going. He has talked about this being an Underdark tale, and if you're unfamiliar with the Underdark, that's the world that exists beneath the surface, involving the massive caves and caverns, as well as the civilizations that exist in the underworld of the D&D universe. This becomes pretty interesting, because there's one particular character who's from the Underdark, who's basically John Wick with swords, and that's Drista Worden. I would not be surprised if Colstead and Thurber are working on something built around this particular well-known character. He's resurfaced quite a bit recently in video games, and the exposure in the last 24 to 36 months of the character has been so much higher than in the history of the franchise. E1's president of global television, Michael Lombardos, did say about the project, we don't want it to just be one show, so we are building out, developing out a multi-pronged approach for television. A number of scripted shows and unscripted, and we hope to be taking this outside of the marketplace early next year. This should give us an idea that maybe the show will finally come around early next year, but between now and then, we do have the movie starring Chris Pine, Justice Smith, Reggae John Page, and Michelle Rodriguez, which is still set to release next March. Actually, March the 3rd, 2023. So, if I'm making any kind of predictions, I would suspect the show will release in the wake of the movie, trying to tie those promotions and garner a little bit of advantage from each other. Until then, we'll have to wait and see. What do you guys think? How do you feel about the Red Notice director, writer, and producer heading up at least the pilot of the Dungeons & Dragons series? And what do you think about this all being an underground adventure? Are you familiar with the Underdark, and do you know all the interesting things that exist there? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not going to get any updates. Peace.